Hello Leo, welcome to your bonus love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Leo, this is a collective love message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. Let's see, what do we have for you? What do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? Okay. So, Leo, we are connecting here in this reading for you with someone who might be a musician. Okay, this is someone here who is receiving also signs for music. Um, yeah, I'm getting someone here who is. Uh, It's like randomly they, they hear the song that reminds you of them, that reminds them of you. This person is thinking a lot about you. Um, for some of you, this is someone here. It was, it, it's been a situation for us today. Maybe you are sending each other songs. Um, but this person might be indeed a musician, performer, singer. Uh, maybe they have a band. Um, there is something here about the music that is of significance regarding this connection. When it comes to your energy, Leo, I'm getting quite strongly here that performer, this person might be also a performer. Um, I feel that something here happened between the two of you and it's like you, I'm getting that energy that you want this person to apologize, to give you some sort of explanation. Uh, I feel that you want them to kind of show you that they care and that they are willing to put some sort of effort to fix a certain situation. Mm -hmm. Mutual energy, we have a commitment. Well, it feels very strongly here, Leo, that this person wants to be in a higher level of commitment with you. And I feel that feeling is mutual. Yeah, this is a strong connection. I'm seeing both people wanting wanting to be together. And then we have overall energy of let go. There is something here about the situation and I feel this is something to do about this person, something to do what's going on in their life. This is someone here who needs to leave what no longer serves them. They need to detach from it. They need to let go of something here. And there is a need to let go of control because you might be dealing with someone who, who likes to be in control, who wants to be in control regarding this whole situation. And I feel that at the end of the day, you kind of took back your power. Very, I'm getting this very strongly. Let's see. Could you please show me this person's feelings, their energy towards Leo and this connection, please? So we have a Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Swords. King of Wands. Yeah, there is a need to. Yeah, they, it feels like they need to apologize for something. Ten of yeah, ten of cups. You see, this is someone who wants to be with you. Page of Wands, communication. King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. 
So Leo, you might be dealing with Sagittarius, we have Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and your energy Leo, so you might be dealing with another Leo. Wheel of Fortune, we have a Seven of Swords. Yeah, that Seven of Swords here suggests that this person at some point might came across uh, as, as, as someone who is quite sneaky, not fully transparent. You might be suspecting that they are having secrets. Um, I feel this person is acting in that kind of way. That's what I am getting very strongly. Um, yeah, you might be feeling that this person is uh, they hiding something. They're a bit too faced here regarding a certain situation. Then we have this king of... You didn't hear of someone who's very ambitious. They might be very good looking, you know. It's also your energy as well. I feel this person sees you as someone who is very, very good looking. A very uh, beautiful or handsome. Please take it how it resonates. But you have this very strong and natural charisma. And, you know, with the Nine of Pentacles, I feel this person sees you as someone who is very independent, you know, very self-sufficient, very independent. You know exactly what you want. And for some of you, uh, you might have your own business, Leo, or it's like... Um, yeah... There is something here about them feeling that you might have changed your views about them. And it's like, I feel this is someone here who um, I'm getting the, okay, I'm getting the someone who might have lied about something, but it's like they wanted to impress you. That's what I am getting very strongly. This person wanted to present themselves in a certain way and they were lying. Um, the thing here is with the Ten of Cups and the Page of Wands, this person wants to be in a relationship with you. William. And this is mutual energy. So this is it's like a double confirmation that you can be reassured based on this reading that with the Ten of Cups, this person wants to be in a relationship. You might be also thinking with someone who's been for quite some time uh, a single uh, because of the nature of their profession. But it's like they want to settle down. In general, I'm getting someone here who might have lied uh, to impress you. They might have um, kind of presented themselves in a completely different way or like a, they present their the circumstances differently in order to impress you because um, they see you as someone who has it all with the nine of pentacles you know exactly what you want you are very very good looking you have this natural charisma with this king of wands you know exact again you know exactly what you want it's like you have that natural x factor and you're getting so much attention. I'm getting very natural leadership skills you possess. And Ten of Cups with the Page of Wands. Well, this person is going to reach out. Page of Wands, it's a messenger. So expect a message. Ten of Cups, for some of you, this is like a confession of love. Or them telling you that they wish that, you know, this connection can be taken into the next level. Because they, they are serious about this with the King of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. we have a will of fortune it's like I'm getting quite strongly here Leo that you, both of you were met to kind of you know meet each other really and this person is coming with that kind of belief into this connection there is some sort of kind of form of them believing in destiny regarding this connection but you receive a message here very nice message I'm getting and with the Ten of Cups, this person will be, uh, I'm getting quite romantic, but they will be talking about the uh, future of this connection, essentially. Let's see your energy, Leo. Could you please show me Leo's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection? So we have a Three of Cups. Okay. 
Five of Wands, Four of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. So it feels like both of you really want this connection. Yeah. If you've been wondering if this person is on the same page, it feels like they are. And we have two of pentacles. The sun, your energy, Leo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you might be dealing with another Leo indeed. So we have a three of cups, five of wands and the four of wands. Yeah, I'm, what I am getting here, and it might be a case, that there was a situation where you felt that um, you need to compete for this person's attention with others. And maybe you felt like there is a competition. Indeed, you might be dealing here with someone who is at the spotlight or it's like this is a... Again, they might be a musician or performer and, and they are getting lots of attention. And maybe this person at some point, there was a situation where there was a party or it's like you were together and there were other people and they um, were very kind of social and they, uh, they came across as someone who um, kind of uh, was paying attention to someone and with the five of wands, I'm getting that it caused tension or it's like you felt that for some reason you just need to because five of wands can be a card of competition you you, you felt that you need to compete with with someone here uh, for this person's attention or in general and and that's where I feel that apology is coming from I feel that you feel that this person really needs to kind of uh, come forward here and apologize for that kind of situation that they put you in that position at some point mm -hmm. but I'm getting quite strongly here Leo that you care a lot about this person we have a four of wands this is a card of relationship uh, relationships in general it's a gate card also which represents which suggests that I feel that you are open for the possibility to kind of enter a new chapter uh, with this person or like open a new chapter in your life with this person being meaning being in a relationship with them we have a knight of pentacles what I am getting quite strongly here though Leo that you are not in a kind of a, I don't feel that you want to rush into things you are more kind of focusing here on creating a very, very stable foundation to, to for this connection in order to, within time, to get this Ten of Pentacles with them, which is a high level of commitment, essentially, living together, being together is also a card of legacy, right? For some of you, you would like to uh, have a family with this person. Two of Pentacles. Mm. I feel that though you have a moment that maybe because of what happened here represented by the five of wands and if you don't resonate with that kind of situation like you being with them and what i uh, kind of said here before five of wands suggests that there might have been some sort of kind of a conflict or argument or tension between the two of you and um as much as you might want you would love to be with this person in a relationship maybe you have a moment either way like, mm, I don't know if I should kind of fully focus on this connection because of what this person kind of, maybe what they said or how they kind of, um, maybe simply because of the nature of their work as well, you know, maybe you, it's like, I feel either way, there is something here with the two of pentacles that you just don't want to be juggled by this person. You want the full attention. If they truly want to be in a relationship, I'm getting quite strongly here, Leo, that you want this person to invest in this connection, to prioritize this connection, not to kind of juggle this connection with something else. Mm -hmm. 
for some of you with the three of cups and the five of wands it might be case that like your friend or their friend said something and uh, um, it's like this person's lies came into light because the sun also brings something to 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 light okay and you feel like this person really needs to apologize because there was no need for them to kind of you know trying to present a different reality in order to impress you it might be a case but in general i see people, both people who really want to be together the sun overall energy this is your energy you are in control here leo you know you are in control that's your energy but also i feel that you have very 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 warm feelings towards this individual show me the outcome please we have a three of pentacles show me the outcome ace of swords six of swords And we have four of swords at the bottom of the deck okay so this person here it's coming with the three of pentacles it's three of pentacles is this energy of teamwork it feels like they want to work with you in order to kind of build this connection or to be honest relationship essentially it's like this person is willing here to compromise this is someone who wants to meet you halfway yeah, they will be trying here very hard, but this is also like a, a teamwork kind of energy because eight of eight of pentacles, it's work, right? It's working towards something, putting effort, work, yeah, trying to work things out. Three of pentacles, it's it takes effort from both sides. So I feel this is someone here who will say that I really want us to work together in order to have this ten, this ten of pentacles and this ten of cups and that beautiful higher level of commitment mutual energy we have an ace of swords there is a need for communication honest communication which will take place so you can be reassured that uh, clarity here it's coming regarding a certain situation and with the ace of swords it feels that this person will try to clear the air with you and you will get your apology six of swords in this case i'm getting very strongly here that this this whole situation uh, will gain more uh, tranquility and harmony because six of swords it's all about uh, moving um, towards calm calmer times bringing more stability and also harmony tranquility there is also indeed a need for them to leave something that no longer serves them because it is the right thing to do so uh, please take it how it resonates mm -hmm. with the six of swords but it feels quite strongly that you have someone here who really cares about you they care to clear the air with you and it feels that that clarity here will be provided leo and certain things will be understood and explained so this is a very very good sign very good sign for some of you there might be a physical distance between the two of you but uh, i'm getting that this person will try to do everything to be closer to you mm -hmm. four of swords is an overall energy for this reading suggests here that uh, and i'm getting here that it might be you that at some I feel that at the moment maybe you kind of uh, a little bit uh, kind of a distance yourself from from that situation in a sense maybe you are kind of feeling that this person really owes you that an apology that apology and they really need to make amends with you that's why it's like I feel that you are refusing here to make any any move they need to do that that's why they're coming with energy of page of wands so we can expect that they will reach out and four of swords i see you kind of uh you know taking step back in order to rethink and reevaluate this whole situation which might be hugely connected also and have a basis in this two of pentacles where you feel like momentarily maybe you are not 100 percent sure but i feel that in general you have such a beautiful energy and 
I'm getting and I'm going to be honest based on this reading that I feel that you have love for this person. Uh, love here is mutual. So if 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 there is indeed if you are, if you are in that sort of kind of circumstances regarding this connection here with the four of swords where you refused to kind of take any action uh, regarding you know that situation and you feels that this person really needs to kind of uh, make amends with you and they need to come forward with that initiative I'm seeing very strongly that that's what's going to happen and things will become. Mm -mm, much better between the two of you because at the end of the day i'm getting two people who really who really want to be with with, with, with each other together <laughs> essentially so it feels that things will be better and uh, you will indeed gain a certain amount of clarity a very important heart-to-heart -heart conversation will take place and i feel that you will feel very very good about about it or about what you're going to hear from this person leo i will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time i truly truly appreciate you leo have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day and once again thank you very much for being with me i am sending you much much love till next time take care bye